Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to North Sea Angling. Alright guys, we're just about to head off down to Mersey Island. Uh, we're spending the weekend uh, camping there ahead of going fishing on the Galloper tomorrow, which is a charter which operates out of West Mersey. Um, but we're going to stay at a place called the Waldrose Campsite and we're going to get down there, set up the tent, uh, set up the tents, then walk down to the beach. Hopefully, be able to uh, forage a few oysters, maybe cockles and clams, uh, but most importantly, dig some bait ahead of the charter tomorrow. So, let's get driven down there and do it. So this was our new setup uh, with the new tent we bought. Got it all sorted. Then we headed on down to the beach to get some foraging and bait digging done. Right, and you rejoin us at about six o'clock the next morning, going to meet the skipper of the Galloper at West Mersey Pier. Have 
fix it. I love gentlemen over there, just caught them the other side. Oh, that's so sweet. Never used to have actual evidence, and I don't. So, can you just quickly describe what you're showing with the umbilical cord Yeah, so that's, uh, that's the umbilical mark there, that's where the uh, fish are live born, and um, that that'll indicate that fish has been born with within the last week probably. Um, so literally born that size. Um, poor little little male thing. And you're taking, pic and you're taking pictures because um, uh, uh, we're working with London so to um, try and build up a picture of their breeding and um, habits and movements and things like that. So, yeah. Awesome. Cool. You got a bite on yours? Shop. It's probably see a better one on the green side if I go and get that one. We'll do it for the next one. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, so you're getting back, are you? to the corner. Yeah.
love this. Yeah, I was going to say mine's the. Uh... All right. Skate wings for the barbecue. Ladies and gentlemen over here, just call this absolute stonker. And what are you going to name him? Dinner? Uh, but, yeah, barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> well done, mate. Yeah, you got. I think that's the tape. on the barbie eh? whoa that's as i started reading in as i said literally yeah. just felt that whack yeah. <laughs> very much on the screen right now just as a perfect do you have the crunking device um the tide has slackened off so the bite started off with it um so as the tide starts running again hopefully we get a few more fish on We've had that huge uh, stunk great bass, we've had tote, we've had skate. There we've got, a, I reckon, a good four and a half pound bass, obviously, to kick off on the barbecue later, and we'll get the footage of that. But yeah, so far, so good. I was say, it's no harm. I was going to say, we probably want to rebait and recast. Is it something on? Yeah.
a little tool. There you got it. Thank you. What have we got? I mean, it's probably a mess if it's going to be anything. Whatever size it is to score. Both of our yeah, yeah it ate both our baits. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a first one. He's got a smoothie over there as well. I guess the bite seems to come back on. Laura. <laughs> 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 
He's got something big. <laughs> no pressure. If, if it's not very big, then I think you'll get an Oscar. <laughs> so it's going to be a white in. <laughs> oh, yeah, it looks decent. She's got up.
on our stonking bat here, we are going to put. I need to stuff it inside. That's what I'm going to do. Right. First thing we need, a load of butter. Probably quite a lot for this size bass. <laughs> Garlic. Plenty of garlic. Lots of it. Okay. You have to put it inside him. Don't worry, I will. That's probably enough. Chili. This is somewhat experimental. And um, <laughs> lemon juice just went in my eye, caught on camera, perfect. What a beauty. Is it the sore, that sort of like French dressing? Do you reckon the French dressing would go with, with this? And there we yeah. have the final outcome. Oh, look at that meat, it's lovely. It tastes so good. <laughs> right. a little taste test. Oh, yeah, some of these chunks of meat are the proper fleshy bits of meat. Oh, that's bloody good. Really meaty, really tender. You were just saying it was really tender. Mm. I guess that's the kind of uh, difference you get when it's like really kind of fresh. Oh. Quite enjoying the salad on the side with it as well, because it gives you that kind of crisp kind of... Mm. Healthy meal as well. Mmm. Maybe we should do more of this, huh? I'm not going to say no to that. <laughs> Anyways, um, I know it's been quite a long video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have enjoyed it, please remember to hit like and subscribe. Uh, and you can see all the stuff that's going to be coming out. Uh, it will come straight up on your YouTube homepage. Um, it really helps out if you do as well. It's completely free. You just need to click that like button and that subscribe button. Um, but yeah, until next time. Uh, from Wolves at North Sea Anglin, take it easy. Mm.